tuning in everyone. Today we have a brand new video review of a older General Giant piece, the General Giant Terminator Mini Bust from Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. And specifically this is the T850 Terminator, um, the one that Arnold Schwarzenegger has played in a few of the movies because as we know it's the same essential Terminator uh, model or endoskeleton and the same uh, exoskeleton or the same Arnold that if you have ever seen the uh, behind the scenes or that unreleased trailer for or unreleased footage, it's a, essentially an assembly line of Arnold Schwarzenegger's being put out um, and that's how we have the uh, Terminator films featuring our favorite uh, Austrian bodybuilder as the star. This is a piece that I've wanted for quite some time and the Terminator minibus are really hard to find and really hard to come across. I was lucky enough to find this a couple months back on eBay and I'm trying to get the battle damage version which is similar to this but you know it has the uh, endoskeleton revealed from the face and a few other battle damage parts and I'm not quite a fan of the other ones. I know there's the TX from Terminator 3, and there's the um, T700, I believe, and a few other pieces from Terminator Salvation. But the T850, um, or the Arnold Schwarzenegger version, are the ones that I really like, and I've been really trying to get that battle damage. So hopefully one day they um, will pop up at a really great price, and I can have the pair um, part of my collection. So anyway, as I normally begin, if you've been watching my videos, let's take a look at the box real quick. Here we have the uh, mini bust on the front cover of the packaging with the T850 down below. It says uh, stand 7 inches tall and chrome plated and we'll go back and check out that chrome plating as well. At the top we have the Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines um, logo and it says ages 5 and up which is pretty interesting because I can't recall ever seeing an age limit on or an age uh, preference restriction however you want to describe it on any of the other gentle giant pieces and I know this is a fairly old piece let me try to find if I can find a um, year on this anywhere 2003 so I guess back then they assumed that kids would be collecting these but I'm not sure what kids would really do and they can't really play with these or pose them or anything and it's really always been a collector piece but anyway just going off on a tangent now on this side we have another image of the mini bus on the back we do have a little bio with a scene from the film and I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can pause and read that real quick and at the bottom we do have the other pieces in this line as I mentioned TX there are actually two versions of it um, the one with the actress, I forgot who the actress is or her name, but you know, we see her in the um, the human form and in the endoskeleton of that. Um, we have the version that I'm reviewing right now, and then we have the battle damage version, the one that I am trying to obtain, hopefully one day. And as always, General Giant includes a COA. I'm a big stiffler on these, and I won't collect any General Giant unless they have a box or a COA, actually both of them together. And this one is number 465 out of 3000. Just to zoom in on that. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the mini bust itself. Let me get up close and personal. Now what I do like, they included these glasses that are removable. And just be careful, they are a little bit fragile. And without them, it definitely looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a very great um, model, a very great sculpt of him. And the hair, it's kind of, eh, the hair is a little bit iffy. I know it's a little bit more spiked in the film. And when it comes to these kinds of uh, pieces or mini busts, you can't really get that spiky feature unless it's a whole headpiece on the uh, for the hair. You know, it kind of looks like his Terminator 1 hairdo. So it's okay and we definitely can tell from the rest of the face it is him. It's a more um, subtle face pose if you want to call it. But you know it's not too bad and then when we put on his glasses that are the uh, ones we see in the film or at least very accurate to it. Um, they're a little bit goofy looking if you can see if I can get that on right. There we go it kind of looks a little bit awkward in the uh, camera let me try to get that pose right. Um, they're not going to be perfect you know it depends on which angle you do look at it. Um, they are pretty accurate to the film, they're the same style and shape, but you know, just do your best if you like to have him posed with the sunglasses. They won't look absolutely perfect, but they don't look too bad as well. One side might be a little lopsided, but you know, you do the best you could. And then on this side we have the uh, shotgun that he has in parts of the film. Um, the nice brown paint down here, let me zoom in on that. 
Now, being such an old General Giant piece, I know even back then General Giant has done a phenomenal job on the paint jobs, but this wood is just beautiful. I mean, it looks like hardwood flooring. I mean, it's legitimate. It's it's amazing how well they were captured. They were able to capture this uh, paint job on the um, butt of the gun. And we have some more on the barrel as well. Um, not quite that wood texture, wood paint on it, but still that brown and the rest of it is highly detailed. And he does have the uh, leather jacket that we do see him wearing after he enters that, uh, it's not a strip club, whatever that nightclub ladies night is and he takes the uh, male strippers clothes off. So, you know, General Giant did a phenomenal job. I thought when I first saw this mini bust in the picture, I thought this was all real like cloth or leather. I mean, they did such a fantastic job with it that it looks absolutely realistic. I mean, some of the most realistic work I have seen from General Giant. And this is a piece that is uh, 14 years old now, so just fantastic with all the creases and designs and textures and the movement and flow of it. And here we do have the little the uh, fuel cell that he had to rip out in the, I guess the beginning of the film when he has John Connor in the passenger seat and he says that one of the fuel cells ruptured, the main fuel cell, and he has to throw it out and there's a big explosion in the middle of the desert. So that's really cool that General Giant captured that and didn't just put a you know, the normal t-shirt, they actually included that detail on it as well. And now taking a look at the chrome plating, it's not a big deal that they mentioned this really. I mean, it's a nice chrome paint they have on here, um, I guess to reflect the uh, endoskeleton design. But, you know, it's, it's a nice base, something a little bit different than what we normally get. If you see in the background over there with the Thor, that's kind of the general style of the base we do get with a lot of these mini busts but this is something pretty unique that the Terminator line has and taking a look at the box as well yes all the others do have that um, design on the base as well and at the bottom we just have the Terminator logo with the General Giant logo and again the 465 out of 3000 so there you have it. Overall, a pretty fantastic piece for being such an old one. I don't have too many pieces that are this old from General Giant. I think um, this might have been one of General Giant's first lines aside from the Star Wars line because they have had that for quite a while now. And I'm super happy with it and hopefully one day I can get that battle, da battle damage piece. Excuse me. So if you enjoyed it, um, thank you for watching and please leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. And we do have San Diego Comic Con coming up. So stay tuned for a bunch of footage and photographs from that weekend. Thank you.